Hi everyone, my name is Juan Camilo Alcaraz. Today I want to show you how to start and how to set up the layout for an AutoCAD floor planes and designs to use into visualization projects in 3ds Max. So let's start. Uh, like you can see here, I am importing the information. This information has been uh, split first in AutoCAD, so I will verify that everything is clean and then I will hit import. When I have all the information imported into the 3ds Max, I will use a, a tool I have created that will group all the information and will put all those different layers in one single layer. This will improve the, the way uh, we can work with the information. Okay, so let's put the number disable the flatten option and hit start. Now you will see right now the information has been grouped and now you will be uh, you will have a, a lot of easy uh, way to handle all this information. So I will repeat this process with all the other uh, floor plans. Uh, so I will show you uh, again the process and then I will speed up the video. So let's take a look Okay, so let's repeat I will import this time the another floor plan. I Will verify if all the information is there. There's no hidden layers and hit ok Okay, once again, I will select the object, I will put uh, the name and hit start. This will, like I said before, it will group the object and it will, it will put all the information in one single layer. So this is it, I have speed up the video, now I have imported all the floor plans, you can see in the left uh, panel, and now I'm repeating the workflow, the same pipeline for the facade and the side view okay when you have all the information uh, organized you can continue with the placing so here what I will going to do is just select the facade and I will rotate using the angle snap and then I will uh, enable the uh, position snap and we will place the object. The, the idea is to find uh, some information that uh, is uh, easy to identify between the floor plan and the facade. So when you find this information in this case, for example, a wall, you can snap them both so, so you can easily place the object and you will guarantee that both information are uh, completely in in the in the right position. So now I'm verifying that the floor plan and the facade uh, match, and I will adjust the height to uh, be more precise. And this is it. When you have this ready, you can move to the side view. In my case, it's a section view that I will import uh, on height, and I will uh, organize the position. So let's turn on, rotate, I will rotate 90 degrees, and again another 90 degrees, and then I will move the facade uh, a little bit away from the floor plan to adjust this easily. So let's move the, the facade uh, a little bit on the front, remember to disable the snap. And now when I'm moving the side view, the section view, I will enable the snap again and using the Alt V uh, shortcut, I could uh, enable or disable the axis constraint. This is quite useful because it allows me to move the object in different ways. So let's verify that everything is matched, in this case the facade and the side view. And if everything is uh, looking good, you can uh, continue uh, placing uh, this side view in relation to the floor plan. So I will move using the axis 
and then I will close up and I will use uh, once again the snap to place it more precisely so let's take a look okay right now I will uh, go closer and I will match the this wall I'm seeing in the section view with the column I'm looking right now into the floor plan remember that you can switch between the axis constraint using the alt v uh, shortcut okay when we have this ready I can disable the snap and then move the, uh, the side view where, where it corresponds so this is it like you can see here I have the layout ready to use and start the modeling process so okay if you like this video I hope you subscribe to my channel and share with your friends because I will continue to upload videos in relation to this particular project so stay tuned bye